might well already missing part of the video, but but I can't be bothered to go back to where we had everything in. So already again, but as you can see, I'm always starting with the eyes, but and while I do I guess the outline. I guess I'll explain a little bit about it. And this is, you know, another character design. I'm of a character called Wowex. He's technically it's an OC I have, being a character I've created, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother spending too much time explaining much about the character. So, at least in this video, so yeah. So, yeah, hands will be a problem later on. So I'm watching the sped up version, I've already recorded this once tonight. And already had issues with that recording. But you can see I'm going through doing the hail. Which yeah. Let's see I'm using the line tool for most of the hail because a lot of it's big and curves that I can't really do by hand for mouse since I don't have a drawing tablet or anything like that so yeah step for mouse for my work you go back through doing hail I think I ended up actually losing a bunch of detail with the hail but oh well so like here, there's this swoop here, which I'm pretty sure I just ended up filling in later. You're completely forgetting that was there. So you've got like part of it over his shoulder. Because, I don't know, I thought that looked kind of good. And I don't really know. Let's see, I'm putting in a pouch. Yeah. On the side right now. Then... I figured I might as well just add the like little emblem onto the, like, I don't know if it would be called an emblem or quest, but onto the lid, but, see, I was trying to fit, like, something onto the arm and kind of make it work the best. It still looks kind of weird, but, there are bandages, I guess. See, I go, just going through and adding them on. See here, I try to, like, make them curve to his arm, but then quickly give up on that. See, I go here, and for some reason make just that one bandage curved on the other arm, but I do not know why. See, I'm adding in kind of the, I guess, I don't know what you'd call it. I guess it's kind of where, like, the ashes of things he's boned has been kind of, like, boned into his skin. Since this character is associated with fire, that would be kind of interesting to have, like, the fire kind of represented in his skin as well, especially since there's something else that happens to him, oh well, but, see, I'm putting in, like, a slice into his chest, at least into the shirt, completely stitching it, and then, so you're just adding a bit more wear and tear, and then, Honestly, I can't, I cannot tell you why I put, put this, like, I guess, buck, I don't know what you call it, piece that makes it look like it's going up further to his chest. I do not know why that's there, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Then, is he going through doing the boots? <laughs> then putting in the little, like, Gem, I don't know what you'd call it, on the shoes, and then through, and I just copied the old boot up, honestly. And then tail it up a bit. And then, uh oh, it's broken. I don't really know. Then. Just add a lip up here, which honestly doesn't really look all that good. Well, we're gonna end up changing it later on. Adding the 
spot for a mouth that I'm pretty sure I don't actually end up doing anything. I'm gonna try and figure out some things to do because it looks a bit plain. Ooh, adding the eyebrows because they're missing. I think I actually put them a bit lower than what the model has, but oh well. Then add some trimming into the clothing. And go through and just erase some bits that shouldn't have it because that full cloth's not there. So it's just be on that item, whichever. Adding the second belt because why not? Not gonna lie, some parts of the model existed in a design for a, you know a design of a story that he no longer fits to because I we what it a bit, but so some so some of that is being left out, like all the uh, be buckle belts and pouches and that. And it kinda just looks a bit dumb. See how I tried to put fitting on like bracelets, but it didn't look or feel light for him. And at the least, not this version of him and yet. I don't know about later on the line or not. But you can see, you know, I'm just whipping, basically whipping off, off that section. Going through another gash in the side. Just kind of thinking about what proceeds, like, this, what happens kind of before to for the outfit to look the way it does right now. It's kind of what I was thinking of. Then, don't worry about that whole sheet of just eyes I have there. It's not even finished yet, but finished good enough for this. Going through and top of his head looked way too plain, so just adding this kind of. Yeah. So it's way. Oh wait, I guess since it's four in the morning, whatever. Then I realized I forgot the ears and quickly put them in. And as you can see, I kind of made bits of the hair, I guess, kind of look like fire. Or flames at the least. This is what I tried to go for. Since this character is pretty heavily associated with fire. But, yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm not really gonna be explaining much of the character or the characters, whichever. Since there's no one that. It's, since I actually have to go redo Lens design too later on. Since the design doesn't really fit anymore and fit any of the ideas of the character, but whatever. I'll do for that later. But. I mean, you can see I'm actually giving him a skin tone, which. I end up changing later because it, for some reason, it looks kind of green, and I can't explain why. To me, it just looks kind of a bit green, and it's also just way too pale right now. You can see I'm just going through and going over like the head kind of fit, and I'm pretty sure I just actually end up leaving the mouth like that and don't and just completely forget to do anything with it. But, now nah, I don't know what to do with it anyway, so, so I'm going back through and giving the hair, like closing off the area for the hair. And then searching for leak, for like the holes where the color is gonna come out. And then just cutting out the areas we don't need. They're gonna make stuff look weird. And then trying to find a color that looks decent. Uh, but yeah. And then honestly, the hair ends up looking a bit weird, I think. But right now it's just way too bright, honestly. It's like a comically bright like red. So I'm going through and kind of giving highlights to it. And I think both I think I went that way to kinda of make it both look a bit more like fire and I don't know to make it look interesting. I don't remember exactly. Going through and 
trimming off the bits where I went over the outside. Hmm. But someone told him I don't realize there's a whole section of action missing for the hill right there, but that gets the wood out later. Hmm. In fact, it was an even wider color for some reason. So apparently I didn't realize it was already a bit too white, but yeah, who knows. Over. Put it there and that, and then I try to do like one of those weird like little highlight bands. I don't know what you call. Them. But then I just can't make it work, so I just completely get rid of it. And then now, time to add some bulk to the hair. I think I also try to use it for like shadow as well. In the hair a bit. Yeah, and I guess I'm going through and like darkening the core of the hair more. So. And then I just went. Stuff's way too dark compared to everything else that looks like to me. Then I tried to make the whales work to make it look better, but it just didn't. So I just. Said screw it and <laughs> made it work. Work the best I could. And then, yep, yeah, so you just gone. Gone with the hail gap I left there on purpose because I forgot. But, oh well. It works good enough. And trying to blow it together, I guess, to make it look better, I don't know. Or why. Now for annoyingly an outline around everything. I now understand why people do their outlines on one layer and their, like, color was on another layer. It makes complete sense to me now, because this, this was very obnoxious to do. But it, it, I will admit it does make it look clean, clean afterwards, or at least cleaner than my mess of, what my mess of work usually is. But. I get why people do that now. Sadly, I end up thinking I'm completely done and then adding more to it later. So I'm pretty sure and end up completely forgetting about this outline. But oops. Then. Let's see, going through. There's more outlines. Realize I forgot to actually finish giving the eyes color. Do an add like the little side for a little bit of the eye. And the bandages which I made bizarrely green. They look too they look a lot older than they should. And I do not know why I made them this color. I guess it looked good at the time. I don't know. outfit would make the hair stand out a tiny bit less, but oh well. Just giving the flat leather pouch some coloring. I tried to make the stitching white, but it just didn't work. Then I'm doing like glass or copper, I don't know what you call it. I don't know what it would be. Just the little like golden metal pieces. Which I actually should have made that color bit less dim or whatever, but oh well. I just should have stole the eye color for the gems and the boots, but oh well. See that one's you can't really see much detail of that one. I could have made those I could have actually made those bigger looking at the shoes now. I probably will after I go back in and actually make the character in like some pieces and things. And those will probably become bigger. So I can add a bit more detail if I want. 
so the quacked one. Well, I say quacked, but it's literally missing a whole piece. <laughs> but, oh well. So I'm adding, like, some shading to the skin. I don't know why the shading's uneven on, on the arms. I'm literally using the shading from the model, but the model's facing completely forward, so... I don't know. I could probably move the lights in the software, but I don't know. That couldn't be bothered to work. Adding a seam to the pants, which look terrible in my opinion, but whatever. And more of the annoying outline. Then I know, oh wait, I forgot the inside of the ears. <laughs> and then back to outlining the bigger parts of the body. And then, yeah, the, the hands are a problem, I will say. The hands are a problem. <laughs> I do not know why I made only that one, like, belt strap chewed up, but, oh well. <laughs> now, just going back over the, like, gash in the chest. Oh well, I guess it's technically a stab, but, eh. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't fill in the middles of the, the lines of those, but, eh, I guess don't really know, honestly, why I didn't, then just adding some skull tissue, I don't know why it's up there, and I don't know why it looks pink, I think, yeah, here you know, I actually know it looks way too pink, can then immediately tone it down, then just some more, I know, actually, I think I know why it gets to those parts, never mind, just remembered why I did that, and then you can see I'm actually like black kind of darkening the area a bit, and then, you, yeah, mm, like I keep saying the hands are a mm, problem, and then cleaning up the colors, and I'll fix the weird bulk on the shirt in a minute, of the, you know, skin bleeding over. And then under the chin, I guess. To... I don't know. It doesn't end up looking good. But I don't think. But way better than the, the weird thing we started with of way too wide of a head. <laughs> so, you know, I can even add some shadowing to the torn off of the pant leg. And at the bottom. Then. Oh yeah, make a way called overall shading because because like an idiot you just realized you've been doing all the shading on the main layers. <laughs> For some reason. But, <laughs> see I hate the way the layers work in this. It I don't know, they don't make sense to me. So you see I just keep changing the color I'm using zing, and darken it in it bit by bit. 
then just go back to blue and change, or not change, what am I talking about? You know what I mean. You can clean it up a bit, and then go through. I think I was gonna try and, see I'm messing with the white angle and I cannot fucking figure it out, so I just give up and just try and outline the eyes a little bit. So, yeah. And then I try to, like, figure out how to make that work and just, like, you know, forget it. <laughs> so, like, out here you can see there's both the red from the hair bleeding in on one side of his face and the face bleeding into the hair on another, which is weird. Then, for whatever reason, the layers decide just not to work. And then, finally, they figure out the, how, how to work. And then highlights on the skin, which, yeah, they look strange, but couldn't figure out how else to do it, so, I don't know. I probably should have done them all a bit bigger, or maybe a bit more in to the arm. Uh, actually, that might have looked better. Eh, oh well, too late now. Go back over and him. I don't know what I did there. I oh, I think I just darkened those areas because they're under cloth. And then, now for the stains of the clothing. You can see now, since it's on everything else, I can just go over it and then erase. See, it's, you know, a stain where it's happened. Then yet it's always scored over, strangely enough. Even though, really, that section should not be scored yet, but, hmm, wonder how it is, oh well, then you can see, I changed the color for some of these other stains, because they are older, and some of, the, some of it's just from fabric wearing, going down, stains and this and that. I think I probably should have stained the stained the pants a bit too. I think maybe that's why. I think both them and the boots look a bit too clean. I think that's why. That and their colors are kind of flat. Just in general. Maybe that's what's wrong with it. So you yeah, try to like highlight seam like it's a bit more worn down. There. And then what am I doing here? I I, I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to do though. Then I go through and check the I don't know what I was checking. I think I was checking the outline to see if I was missing pieces. And I walk it all down. Oh yeah, here I was comparing it to the model because I thought it was done. And then I literally saw editing the video and I was like, wait a second. I forgot a few pieces. I couldn't decide whether to make the like full hair in the ears white or black, so I just made it gray instead. So yeah, and then just a bit of a bit more cleanup up here and there, and, yeah. So I wasn't quite happy with the way it looked while I was editing. And then, you can see I finally noticed the weird of the face, and that looks a bit intense near the eyes, so I go through and trim it down a bit. And I don't know why Ball cleaning this up. I don't think you could could have actually seen it, but whatever. Go back through and redo some of the bits around the eye. And then just selecting all the major skin. Although I I'm 
pretty sure I completely forgot to select that like leg down down by the feet. So it's now the wrong color. I I'll probably fix that after this. But you'll probably be able to see it once the final image shows up. So you know, for the video at the end. Yeah, here you can see I'm trying to mess with the skin tone to make him less kind of like a dead pale, I guess. Some still don't look right, so I go through and it's like, oh, the eyes are still selected for some reason. So I guess that color is too close for the way my settings are. You know, I saturate the skin a bit more and darken it, and I darken it too much. So I undoken it, now it's too light, and I darken it a little bit more, and it's good enough. It still look, at least for now, it still looks a bit odd. But to me. Then, as soon as I go back over here, I can do the lines of the eye again. I guess to define the edges, since the eye white is still a bit odd. Then, to highlight the eye just a bit. Which I'm pretty sure I went a bit more reflective. And then dialed it back. Practically the same color. Still basically same color. But then after I go back over with the brush, it is way too bright. But I don't realize that until I go back over with on the other eye. And then end up making the eyes uneven and make him look look just slightly insane. So I just copy it over, and then zoom out, zoom back in, and I was ooh, that's way too bright. Light looking. And so then I just tone it back down. And slowly. Okay, and then... I think here, yeah, I'm just adding like a highlight thing to the eye, even though I don't know why it kind of makes the rest of it look weird, but I take it off, put it back on a few times, and just like, eh, whatever, I just left it. Then, I might just go back there and fix this weird line that looks kind of weird here. And then Steam decides to show up and interrupt for whatever reason. Please show twice. Yep. <laughs> twice. Go figure. Mm, pretty sure just twice. Yeah, I think just twice. Okay. I don't know why. And this one's like two flames or something, so I'm not gonna bother trying to edit that out. See, I'm trying to find like another bit to try and like, I guess, add some sculling to his skin, but mm, I don't know. It doesn't end up looking right to me, so I just give up. Then I realized this part's for some reason solid black, so I, you know, change it to gray. And then, see, just a bit more color bleeding. Some other weird issues. Just some itty bitty tiny things on the side to fix. Just like one pixel missing there for who knows knows what reason. Why oh, just weird artifacting? Then I realized that it looks weird, so I go back through and change it a little bit. And then don't worry about why the image got bigger, that's just so I can make different angles of him later. Get him over from the side and then the back of him in later. You know what? I didn't end up recording doing that and I haven't even done that yet because I didn't really see a point in doing that. So yeah, and then I don't know, you see I'm trying to add a 
way to pull into it, but I'm pretty sure I still giving up. But, yeah, that's pretty much the end. So, here's the final result.